Welcome to the Jill on Money Show. It's Wednesday, November 23rd. It's the day before Thanksgiving. And so many of you are getting ready to see all of your family members. You're trying to figure out, you know, who's going to be sitting next to me? Is that person going to be annoying? Who can I not talk about politics with? Don't talk about politics with anybody. Let me give you that as advice right out of the gate. You know, since you are going to be with your whole family, this is a most fabulous time to discuss, yes, what you're giving thanks for, but also your estate planning. I know that's a, that's a little bit of a leap, but what uh, I wanted to do was tell you that there's still too many people who don't have their estate documents done. You know that you hear this all the time on our program. So today I would like to air a segment that we did on CBS Mornings that centered around estate planning. And I want to do this as a, how shall we say, gentle nudge or not so gentle nudge to get you to at least think about having these conversations. Why are these conversations so important? Because without having conversations, without at least nudging the door open a tiny bit, nothing will change. So if it's your adult parents that are reluctant to talk to you, you can say, look, I want to tell you that Jill is telling us we got to have these conversations. Maybe you're parents of adult children and you want to make sure that they have their ducks in a row. There's a lot of great content uh, that we cover in this segment. You know, I just think that it is the kindest thing to do to manage the expectations of your family and to get these things done. You are not going to feel great contemplating your future death or this world without you. But what you're going to feel great about is you're going to have the peace of mind that you've done it, that you've articulated your wishes, that you've made this leap and you've gotten over whatever emotionally is preventing you from doing this. Whatever you think there is, it's not that hard. We are talking about three specific documents, a will, a healthcare proxy, a power of attorney. And don't forget, when you die without a will, when you die with nothing done, it's a hot mess. You know, I was talking to my producer about this before we were doing the segment and she was saying, I wonder how many families have big disagreements because the documents are not in place. I wonder why. And I think that that is something that we should be considering, that you might be able to help prevent some anxiety, but also conflict. So dealing with it now will make it happen much more smoothly. So check out this segment. We cover a lot of great ground. And um, if you've got questions, you know what to do. Go to jillonmoney.com, click the contact us button, and let us know if you would be willing to come on the air. So here is the segment that I did about estate planning on CBS Mornings. We are talking about so-called estate planning. It is an important topic and it is a topic for everyone, no matter your age or whether you have a partner or children. If you have stuff, this is for you. According to a recent survey, though, only about half of people think that estate planning is even at least somewhat important. And only about one in three have a will or a living trust in place. CBS News business analyst Jill Schlesinger is here with what you need to know. Good morning. Learn something already. Everybody has an estate. It's just your stuff. Yeah, that's it. We, we all have stuff. And there are three essential documents that make the passing of your stuff and your wishes a lot easier. Okay. The first is a will. Just says, hey, here's my stuff. Here's who it goes to. Okay. In that will, you get to name guardians for your young kids. Mm -hmm. So if you don't have a will, guess what happens? The state where you live decides who gets your kids. Some of your siblings might be great parents. Others, not so much. You then have two other documents that are really important. One is called a health care proxy. I think this is vital. We just went through a once in a century pandemic. Yes. Anyone can get sick at any time. You want to make your wishes known. You name somebody, your agent, who makes a health care decision on your behalf. And the last document is called a power of attorney. And this could be important if like, gosh, I tripped on the street and I'm laid up in the hospital and I need somebody to enroll in my benefits for me. Hmm. So you're naming someone an agent to make a business decision, a transaction. All of these documents, they have to be in writing. 
They have to be notarized. So no writing it on a napkin. But I think people are reluctant, A, because no one wants to think about death, even right. though it's going to happen to all of mm-hmm. us. Nobody wants to think about it. And you also think, if I don't have a lot of stuff, if I don't have a lot of money, right. why do I need to have an estate plan? Right. And, and, and I think you that, say to both of those. Well, the most important thing is that we do all have stuff. And it may not be valuable, but it's valuable to someone in your family. So it could be that, you know, for me, the most valuable thing in my father's estate when he died nine years ago was his trading badge from the American Stock Exchange. It's a piece of plastic. Yeah. It had meaning to me. I want that and I had it and it's great. But what I think is important about having this 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 actual instruction manual is it makes the disposition of your assets easier, but it also makes the process of settling an estate much easier. If you die without a will, you are called intestate. And that means that the probate court kind of administers stuff. And so yes, they get to decide who yes, gets what. Yes, and, and it's usually a preset formula. Like so it could be like your parents, it might be your siblings. Yeah. But again, some people are more able to handle these responsibilities than others. Settling an estate, going through probate, it's not a p- pleasant process. Yeah. But when you have a roadmap, it is much easier and it helps avoid yeah. family conflicts. Think of all the stories we've heard about, oh, my friend's cousin doesn't speak to her anymore because yeah, grandma left apart. Right? right? And yeah. so that's why another reason we want it down in writing. Now, some people m- might not have stuff but they might have bad stuff. What happens to debt? That's a great question. So the way we think about an estate is you have your stuff or your assets, and then you have your liabilities or your debt. And if you have enough assets to cover your debts, they get paid off after you die. If there's not enough money to cover those debts, those debts vanish. With a they big, ex- vanish. with vanish. a big like exception. That. Hold on. Okay. They vanish. They don't. If they don't are, go to the kids. No, because the big issue is if you have a debt that is co-signed or you have a mortgage, oh, a co-borrower, okay. that debt will not go away. But if you had a student loan and you die and there's not enough assets in your estate to pay off that student loan, that student loan will be relieved. Got you. All right. So you can't write it on a nap. And you're going to have to hire a lawyer. That, that is an obstacle for people. Is there a That's kind of a free, cost. is there a quick, we only have 15 seconds, like a quick website or something? So there are online resources. A lot of them are free and you should just check that out. And if you have a complicated case, a second marriage, you have a lot of money, you're a partner in a firm, you should probably see a lawyer and it okay. will take some planning. Well, if you are having a problem trying to figure out how to get your family on board or how to maybe encourage other family members to have these conversations, why don't you give us a holler? Go to jillonmoney.com, click the contact us button and come on the air and we'll walk you through it. Change all the names, change the circumstances and we will be happy to really hold your hand and get you to this other place. This other place, it will make you feel better. It really will. So I encourage you to do that. I know it's Thanksgiving Eve. I know everyone's going to get swept up in holiday time. Instead of spending $300 on a dopey Black Friday deal, spend some money and spend some time getting your estate documents done. Okay, thank you. That's all. That's your public service announcement from Jill on Money. Do something nice for someone else today. Enjoy your Thanksgiving. Thank you so much for listening. Grit, growth, grace. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Tomorrow. 